that's an incredible participation here. We see people from uh, the technical side, we see people from the regulatory side, we see people from the political side, so the participation is brilliant. Uh, we have more than 1,000 people participating either here in the room or online. Uh, and when you, when you look at the diversity which is basically participating, uh, it's to a certain extent surprising to see that there are no two minds in terms of the target, uh, so what to achieve. Uh, but there is obviously debate how to get there. And I think this is obviously the platform and that's what we are providing here, the Clean Aviation Forum 23 is the platform uh, where those exchanges can happen, uh, debate can happen, uh, exchange can happen and people are trying to convince each other what is the best way forward and how to how to move in, 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 in terms of direction, in terms of target. Um, uh, and uh, we just had a, a presentation by ASA which I found quite impressive uh, because they were talking not about speeding up the process but having them involved earlier, so giving them more time in Instead of less time, but by that one uh, optimizes the whole process and getting to an entry into service uh, earlier than in the original process. Uh, so I'm I'm very pleased with the discussion. I'm very pleased with the current outcome, but we have still uh, some discussions in front of us, and I'm very much looking forward to, to seeing uh, the rest of the presentations. Um, and maybe one thing I'd, I'd like to highlight specifically uh, is the uh, discussion about synergies, uh, because we have so many programs at European level, uh, at member state level, uh, but also at regional level and I think there we are still not flying completely in formation. Uh, we need to connect those initiatives much better than what we do today um, and make them more complementary. Um. So the first thing is that uh, I came in uh, flying this morning and the flight was uh, full and that uh, can only be good news for uh, for our industry. In addition to that, uh, we flew on leap engines, so even better, even better news. Uh, it was amazing as strong the consensus was among all the speakers and the, and the panelists. It is clear that the uh, politicians, industry, we all know what we have to do because we don't need to think about it, we just need execution. On the other side, we know that uh, executing or what we have to do to create uh, a more sustainable aviation industry is difficult. Uh, technological challenges are huge and that's why clean aviation and uh, undertaking is so important to help us develop in this technology. Clean Sky One was the predecessor of what we call now clean aviation. And in Clean Sky One, we developed, in fact, a very innovative concept, which was called open rotor. Open rotor, finally, was, flat, was tested in 2016 to show the path, to show the benefits of an underkit fan concept, which finally became the RISE concept from GI Aerospace, uh, launched together with Safran, with the aim to accelerate on that transition and to deliver a benefit of 20%. Avio Aero is part of that one wonderful journey through the project called Ophelia in clean aviation together with Safran. With the aim to further mature the technologies, uh, to develop the concept, to demonstrate the benefits and ultimately to perform the flight test by 2030. This is exactly what we expect. But this is only one leg. The second leg is the development of hydrogen direct bond concept. So the project IDEA where Avio Aero is the coordinator. And that project is to demonstrate the feasibility of using in fact hydrogen on board in order to produce results and to demonstrate uh, in the second part of the 20 uh, of this decade uh, the benefits in flight with Airbus. All of that will culminate uh, with demonstration and feasibility of technologies that will provide benefits for the new aircraft generation, producing at least 30% of greenhouse gases emission reduction by then in order to accelerate uh, our transition towards our journey towards carbon neutral aviation. We are at the end of day two of the Clean Aviation Forum here in Brussels. We had the opportunity to disclose our full roadmap technology for clean aviation, encompassing Amber, Ophelian, and Idea. Very well received, a good opportunity to share our consideration with our partners and our customers.